Assalamu alaikum dear students. Hope you are healthy and hearty. Welcome to NIEBS Homeschool. This is Fatima Sabrin Shikha, Assistant Teacher of National Ideal English Version School Morning Shift. Today I am going to take Bangladesh and Global Studies class for the students of class 8 on the topic chapter 2 lesson 5-6. I am repeating our today's topic is chapter 2 lesson 5-6 and this is our third lecture and second homework. Students, for today's class, take your Bangladesh and Global Studies book. We are going to discuss from Chapter 2, Lesson 5-6. So, let's begin. Chapter 2, Lesson 5-6. We are going to start our class with Lesson 5, Name, Preparation of Liberation War and the Formation of Temporary Mujibnagar Government. The Government of People's Republic of Bangladesh was known by Temporary Bangladesh Government, Exile Bangladesh Government, and most widely known as Mujibnagar Government. So, in the time of Liberation War, people used to know the government as Mujibnagar Government. Now, we are going to learn more about this government. Mujibnagar Government was formed on 10th April 1971. So this is most important when first formed uh, the, of the Mujibnagar government. It was first formed on 10th April 1971. And we are going to learn about its members. And in Mujibnagar government, the members took oath on 17th April 1971. In the same month, same year, in 17th April 1971. Now, we have to know about the members of Mujibnagar government. So that time in Mujibnagar government, the president was the chairman of our Malik, Bangabudhu Sheikh Majibur Rahman. The vice president was Sayyid Najrul Islam, who was the acting president of Bangladesh uh, and the absence of Bangabudhu Sheikh Majibur Rahman. And the prime minister was Tajuddin. Ahmed. The finance minister was M. Monsud Ali, A. H. M. Kamar Jaman, who was the relief and rehabilitation minister, and Khandukar Mushtaq Ahmed, who was considered as the foreign and law minister of Mujibnagar government. So you have to learn this uh, for your MCQ, for your uh, creative question answer. So these are very important information related to Mujibnagar government. Now we are going to learn about activities of Mujibnagar government. So there are various types of activities in Mujibnagar government. Basically we find two types of activities of Mujibnagar government and they are civil administration and military activities. They are civil administration and military activities. Mujibnagar government had ministers and directorates. Like other countries, other government, Mujibnagar government had also ministers and directorates. That time Bangladesh was divided into 11 administrative zones so that the government can uh, administrate the whole country properly. Maulana Abdul Hamid Khan Bhashani, Communist Party Chief, Moni Singh, NAP Leader, Muzaffar Ahmed, Congress Leader, Moniruzan uh, Moniruz Dhar were the members of the advisory board uh, and uh, with this, uh, with them, uh, there were Aumilik leaders uh, who were under the leadership of Tajuddin Ahmed. I'm sorry, it will be Monoranjan Dhar. Uh, along with Maulana Abdul Hamid Khan Bhashani, Communist Party Chief Moni Singh, NAP leader uh, Muzaffar Ahmed, Congress leader uh, Monoranjan Dhar were the members of advisory board and it was uh, leaded by Tajuddin Ahmed. Now, students, we are going to learn uh, about lesson 6 uh, name, formation of Mukti Bahini and its activities. So uh, now we are going to learn about Mukti Bahini who uh, had great influence in our liberation war. During liberation war, M.A.G. Osmani was the Chief General of Freedom Fighters. Uh, so uh, who was the Chief General of Freedom Fighters in liberation war? It was M.A.G. Osmani. 
and Colonel uh, Richard Colonel Abdul Rob was the chief of staff. Group Captain A.K. Khandukar was the deputy chief of staff. So these uh, three are important information related to Mukti Bahini and liberation war. And uh, the whole country were divided, the whole country was divided into 11 sectors. Now we are going to learn about 11 sectors of liberation war. Bangladesh was divided into 11 sectors and some sub-sectors with appointed commanders. So for proper uh, arrangement and management to fight with our enemies, Bangladesh was divided into 11 sectors. And uh, these sectors were divided into some sub-sectors. And there uh, some uh, commanders uh, are appointed for um, commanding the sectors. Now it's time to learn about 11 sectors, um, the areas of these sectors. So first sector is sector 1 and the areas are Chattogram, Chattogram Hill Tracks and area up to Feni River. So Chattogram, Chattogram Hill Tracks and area up to Feni River uh, were included in sector 1. Noakhali, Akhaura, Kumilla district up to Vairab Braille Station, Haubigand of Silet district, Sampers of Dhaka and Faridpur districts were included in sector 2. And in sector 3, Akhaura, Kumilla district from the east of Voira railway station online slate some parts of Dhaka district and Kishor Ganj. Uh, these are the area of sector 3. Eastern part of Slate district, uh, Khoyai Shasta Ganj rail line and all regions in the east and south up to Dauki Road were the areas of sector 4. And in sector 5, we find western part of Slate district from Slate Dauki Road up to Shunamgonj Maiman Singh Road. So, uh, these are included in sector 5. And sector 6, we find Rangpur and Thakur Gao subdivisions now uh, in district of Tinachpur. These are sector 6. And in sector 7, southern part of Dinajpur district, Rajshahi, Pabna, and Bogura district are included. Kushtia, Joshua, greater part of Faridpur and uh, up to Daulatpur, Shabkira Road of Khulna. These areas were included in sector 8. And in sector 9, the areas were from Daulatpur to Shabkira Road up to southern part of Khulna district. Some parts of Faridpur district, Barishal and Potuakali were included in sector 9. Under this sector, there were naval commandos, minority ethnic groups, areas of the sea and internal naval roads. So we are talking about the sector 10 and under this sector there were naval commandos, minority ethnic groups, areas of the sea and internal naval roads were included. And in our last sector, sector 11, the areas are Maiman Singh and Changal except Kishor Ganj. So students, these are the about 11 sectors and its areas. So if you read this uh, chart, you will be able to learn uh, from sector 1 to sector 11. So this is very important for uh, your creative question, for your MCQ and for your general knowledge. So please learn and earn knowledge from this chart. Now we are going to learn about brigade forces. Uh, in the time of liberation war, we find three brigade forces and this brigade forces starts with the first letter of commanders and uh, we find uh, Z force, S force, K force. So uh, as we said, uh, these uh, three brigade forces uh, starts with uh, start with uh, first letter of commanders Major Jiaur Rahman, uh, and he was uh, the leader of Z force, and S force was un under Major A K M Shafiullah, and K force uh, was the inf under the influence of Major Khalid Musharraf. So how many forces are there? There are three brigade forces, and they are Z force. S-Force and K-Force. 
Now, freedom fighters were divided into two groups. So, uh, freedom fighters, uh, we find uh, our freedom fighters uh, who laid their uh, lives and uh, bravely fought in the um, field of war and uh, they are divided into two groups. Uh, first one is regular force and second one is occasional or temporary force. Now we are going to learn about regular force and occasional or temporary force. So who uh, were in regular force? Regular force consists of Bengali soldiers of East Bengal regiment. So the people who were uh, in East Bengal regiment, the soldiers of East Bengal regiment, um, Bengali re uh, soldiers of East Bengal regiment were in regular force. And this force, that means regular force officially named MF. MF means Mukti Force. So regular force officially named as Mukti Force. And in this force, in this regular force, army, air force and navy were included. That means all government forces were included in regular force. Now occasional or temporary force. So uh, this force uh, was consist, uh, consisted of students, youth, workers uh, and freedom fighters of all levels. So in this section uh, that means in uh, occasional temporary force uh, we find uh, most people, uh, uh, people of every sphere attended here. Uh, it can be student, youth, teacher, worker, doctor, engineer, freedom fighters that means people of all levels join here. Officially, the name of temporary force is Gono Bahini. So, Gono Bahini is the official name of occasional force. There, we find re, uh, regional force in liberation work. So, what is regional force? Uh, when we uh, find the freedom fighters uh, joined uh, from different areas, it is called regional force. So, regional force consists of people outside sector areas. Uh, for example, we can say Kaderia Bahini, uh, Afsar uh, Battalion, Baten Bahini, etc. So, if you read the text, you will learn more about regional force. Students, I hope you have understood uh, the summary of lesson 5 and 6 and uh, your homework will be uh, 10 MCQ. Please do 10 MCQ in your SW copy and don't forget to write the lecture number and homework number at the top of the corner of your copy. A lecture number is 3 and homework number is 2. You have to submit your homework on every Saturday. Students, that's all for today. Hope you have understood today's topic. Keep practicing at home and abide by your parents. Stay well and see you again. Till then, Allah Hafiz. Assalamu alaikum.